In this experiment, we'll do calorimetry on three different types of things. We'll find the specific heat of a metal, we'll find the heat of solution as something dissolves, and we'll find the heat of neutralization as an acid and base neutralize. In the first part of the experiment, we'll find the specific heat of a metal by taking a hot metal, putting it into cold water, and see how much heat it releases. We'll measure this by calculating the amount of heat that is absorbed by the water. The first thing we need to know is the mass of the unknown metal. We find this by the difference, the difference of the mass of the test tube with the metal in it and the empty test tube. We want to start with this metal hot, so we set up a beaker of water, which we're going to start boiling, to heat up the metal. We put the metal into the water bath and let the water boil, leave the metal in there until the metal reaches the same temperature as the water. We set up the calorimeter by pouring water into the calorimeter. We need to know the mass of the water that's in the calorimeter, so we weigh the calorimeter empty. We put the cool water into the calorimeter. And then find the mass of the calorimeter with the water in it. We can find the mass of the water by subtracting the mass of the empty calorimeter. We leave the metal in the boiling water to ensure that it comes to the temperature of the boiling water. After measuring the temperature of the boiling water so that we know the initial temperature of the metal and measuring the initial temperature of the water in the calorimeter, we add the metal to the calorimeter and allow the heat from the metal to heat up the water. We allow the water in the calorimeter to get to the highest temperature it gets to, and then we measure the temperature of the water. We make the assumption that the heat lost by the metal is all gained by the water. We can calculate the heat gained by the water by multiplying the mass of the water times the specific heat of the water times the change in temperature of the water. The heat absorbed by the water is equal to the heat released by the metal. In order to find the specific heat of the metal, we take the same equation and rearrange it. To find the heat of salvation, or the heat released when something dissolves, we must find the mass of the substance we're going to dissolve. We will then put it into the water and measure how much heat is absorbed by the water. Once again, we know, must know the mass of the water that is in the calorimeter. We must also know its initial temperature. We then add the substance to the water. Be sure that all of the substance dissolves. And then we read the temperature. Remember, we make the assumption that all the energy lost by the dissolving is absorbed by the water. And we can calculate this by taking the mass of the water times the specific heat of the water times the change in temperature of the water. We can calculate the heat of solution by taking the energy absorbed by the water and divide it by the mass of the solute dissolved. Calorimetry can also measure the heat released by the neutralization of a base by an acid. We take a sample of acid and add it to the calorimeter. We then take an equal amount of base After taking the initial temperatures of the samples, we combine them in the calorimeter. After allowing the acid base neutralization to occur, we find the final temperature of the mixture. 
Again, we make the assumption that the heat released by the neutralization equals the heat absorbed by the water. And we can quantify the amount of heat absorbed by the water by taking the mass of the water times the specific heat of the water times the change in temperature.